hi guys so you're welcome thank you so much for clicking so an advice for non ijabi sister assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam uh, first i want to tell you that um, i'm a muslim i believe in everything written in the book of allah and al quran no. and in but everything he ijab. said but uh, unfortunately oh, wow. i find difficulty to convince myself with the uh, farida of hijab Oh. Do you have any advice concerning this? I wish that you could uh, assist me and many okay. of my friends. Okay. Thank you. Oh, uh, Jazakallah khair for your honesty. May Allah reward you for your honesty. And this is the first step to solve any problem is to be honest, to admit I have a problem, to admit I have a difficulty. Yeah. If a person doesn't even admit they have a difficulty, they will never be able to solve oh, the problem. Uh, let me remind myself and you that to commit a sin, is one thing but to justify a sin it's is much worse ah. to commit a sin is not true, good true. it's bad but to justify, justify a sin you know is a wrong, million times worse but you keep doing it. if I'm committing a sin suppose billah, suppose somebody is smoking or drinking and he says oh I know I'm a sinner may Allah forgive me this is not good at least though he's being honest with Allah. Yeah. And when you're honest with Allah, there is hope for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. When you're honest with Allah, at least there's a chance of repentance. Yeah. The Prophet ﷺ said, feeling guilty for a sin is the essence of repentance. Feeling guilty means you know you're committing a sin. Mm -hmm. You know you're committing a sin. This is the essence or the first step to repent from that sin. So make sure if you are committing a sin, that you don't justify that sin mm. because justifying the sin is something that is very very dangerous mm. extremely dangerous mm. and that really lowers that rank that we have with Allah infinitely secondly you ask I have difficulty about the faridah of hijab yeah. I remind you that the concept of hijab is a concept that is found very explicitly in the book of Allah Jalla Jalaluhu and very explicitly in the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah says in the Quran well, that let the believing women ala Allah says in the Quran that let the believing women draw their khumur over their juyub and khumur is the plural of khimar and khimar is the Arabic word for that which covers your head in English we call it a headscarf yeah. So Allah is saying, let believing women draw their head scarves over their juyub, and juyub is their chest area. So Allah is saying, take your head scarf and make sure that you cover even your chest with the head scarf. This is very explicit in the Quran. There's no ambiguity here. Many people now are saying, where does the Quran say we have to do hijab? These people are people who have never read the Quran. It's right there in front of them, black and white. It's right there. Allah says, let believing women put their headscarves and cover their necks with it. Why is this? Because some women, listen to this, some women in the days of Jahiliyyah, they would cover their hair, but they would take their headscarf and throw it behind their back and they would expose the upper chest. They would expose the upper chest. You know how the, the dresses are in our times, the low blouses that are common in the Western attire. In front of other women, that is something else. But in front of men, no woman can wear something like this. So Allah is saying, even if you wear a headscarf, make sure you cover the front part of your body as well. Don't just take a headscarf and throw it behind you. Take the headscarf and put it in front of you. So the Quran is very clear. And realize, my dear sisters, that this concept of modesty is something that Allah is doing not just for our protection, but primarily for yours. Allah says in the Quran that let believing women wear their coverings and garments. Why? That is better for them. Allah is saying for you to wear your scarf, for you to wear your covering, it is better for you. Allah is saying. Why? So that they will be recognized and not taunted, not humiliated, not become the object of teasing and of evil things. So my dear sister, realize that this protection that Allah wants from you, it is to protect you, not only to protect the rest of society, but to protect you. Also realize that our Prophet 
our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam praised modest women and he praised women who guard their chastity and who guard their beauty that Allah has given to them and he also was not happy in fact in some a hadith he cursed those women who flaunt their beauty in one hadith he said those women who do so they will not smell the fragrance of paradise in another hadith he said these women who flaunt their beauty are of the signs of the day of judgment this is of the signs of the end of times that women will lose modesty and in another all of these hadith basically they tell us the, the positive of covering the positive of being modest and the negative of being immodest my dear sister in Islam let me remind you of a blessing that all of you here take for granted it is a blessing of living in a Muslim land and a Muslim country I come from America. I come from America. That's where I live. That's where my home is. That's where my, my family, everybody is there. For a sister to wear hijab in America, it's not easy. Mm. Especially post 9-11. Mm. I know. We know this as Muslims living there. Mm. My own wife has been threatened, ridiculed. People wow. mock her. Mm. People look at her and stare. They, there's something strange. They'll give sarcastic comments. Sometimes even if I'm with her, they might just give an evil remark or something like this. It's not easy practicing Islam in Western lands. And yet, and yet, we find that Alhamdulillah, hundreds and thousands and hundreds and thousands of Muslim men and Muslim women are rediscovering Islam in the West. You go to Islamic conferences as large as these, nay, even larger than this. And you find, MashaAllah, brothers upon the Sunnah, sisters are wearing hijab. They are doing so despite the problems living in the West. Mm. My dear sister, Allah has blessed you to live in the East. Allah has blessed you to be amongst Muslims. No one will make fun of you if you wear a, heart, a scarf. No one will ridicule you. No one will give you threats. No one will think anything strange of you. This is a Muslim society. You're living amongst Muslims. You hear the adhan. You're mixing with people who believe in Allah and His Messenger. What is possible? preventing you from this level of excellence what is there preventing you from coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya ayyuhal insanu ma gharraka bi rabbikal kareem why are you deceived something so simple so straightforward living in a society of people who are believers in Allah and his messenger I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you the strength and the courage and he gives all of us the strength and the courage and the iman to live like Muslims to act like Muslims to behave like Muslims this is only only by doing this and only by being proud to be Muslim will the pride that Islam deserves return. My dear sister, I ask you a blunt question. If you are embarrassed about being a Muslim, if I'm embarrassed about being a Muslim, then is it any confusion? Is it any wonder that Islam has become something to be embarrassed about? The day that you are proud to be a Muslim and I am proud to be a Muslim, that is the day that Islam itself shall regain its pride. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who bring that pride back. Wa jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That was a beautiful advice and that was a beautiful message. So this Muslim lady doesn't wear an hijab and she's asking if it's right for a Muslim woman not to wear an hijab. And I love the advice this man gave to her, trying to encourage her, you know, letting her know that this is what it brings. This is, this is the blessing wearing of hijab brings and is a form of modesty, respect. People tend to respect you more. You know, you, you tend to be confident because when you wear hijab and you, you, you cover her up every part of your body you know you'll be respected you know you not attract just anyhow people on the road you get it people will respect you for who you are because you dress modestly you dress right and they'll give you the due respect and and if you try to let us understand that yeah there, there might be some pressure at work in school wherever you are you you might be pressured that oh why should i wear an hijab i'm, I'm the only muslim or me wearing an hijab is i'm trying i'll be kind of isolated from people or people who don't want to really mingle with me but just be proud of your religion since islam says wear hijab then it's good to cover up be proud of your religion let people know it might be tough at first people might mock you people might you know try to look at you that ah, are you the old or uh, they might th I'm trying to tell you that ah, why are you trying to act holy like what was wrong that are you the only one uh, you get it let let them know let it let the religious speak in you 
in your in your behavior that's why they says action speaks louder than the words because the action you portray is what people will see you as not what you say people judge you first by your looks before they judge you based on your intelligence or based on who you are so he even gave an instance on where it was really hard on his wife because uh, you know like i said there are some worsting words that wearing hijab is not really allowed or people kind of see you in another light when you wear hijab and it makes you feel insecure but don't be insecure about it you know be proud of your religion because that's what portrays who you are because now when the woman asks the question i never knew she was a muslim i thought she was a christian i mean i didn't know that not hijabi sisters means muslims that um don't wear hijab i thought it was the non-muslim they, they refer to as non hijabi sisters because as a non-muslim i never knew that's what they mean by non hijabi sister so when she asked the question at first i was thinking she was a christian because of her looks so there's one thing that stands you out as a muslim woman what stands you out is your hijab when people see your hijab instantly they know you're a muslim everybody would know that oh this is the religion you are in and apart from that, that does not even really matter, but it's, it's how God sees you that matters and how diligent you are and how faithful you are to God. You know, people love to do eye service quite well, but do it because you're doing it for your maker. Don't do it because you are forced to do it or because people, you know, do it because you're doing it for God and try to do it for yourself. That was a beautiful one and I really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Let's keep this discussion going. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.